Twilight may stand forever Your copper and thunder eyes All nights Then my shadow I stand now at the horizon's edge Lay my wings across the fire Oh Lord, end to end Upon the passing world Upon the passing world May you walk on forever, my love. I have the patience to be just the past. May you find your peace at last. I have the patience to be separate. I have the patience to be separate. Handsome and now in the ancient tongue Grief before grief ever was It's either my move or your move, Lord I am the passing world I am the passing world Give you now the hour when God last ever believed. I give you now the last full moon I'll ever see. I give you now the last thing that God ever loved. Come, twilight, come. Ooh. Thank you, Colonel. still be here at the crossroads dear my broken heart has never left half the 
the time it took half my life to have half a right to say nothing ever makes it home that takes the blue star highway nothing ever makes it home that takes the blue if today you're left with nothing, be thankful you're not left with less. Some of us only lose the dark to get lost in darkness. Red crescent. the blue highway now If I could have my heart come back and be forgiven for them old days I'd be It's been at least, uh, I don't I think it's been at least 10 years since I've actually played a show in this town. Um, so I was right here on this stage about 10 years ago. I don't know where you guys all were. Uh, I think it was, uh, you know, those uh, sort of basement garagey shows, punk rock shows, is uh, when we did the first couple tours uh, through here. And um, this place is amazing. And... Uh, I like to say right now, just based just based on on uh, all the thousands of shows that I've done and that Magnolia has done, that um, I will play here next time for free. <laughs> and once I get home to Chicago and tell the band about this place, I'll see if they're willing to play here for free. So <laughs> you got my word on it. You got my word on it. That don't mean that it's going to be free for you. It just means that I, I will do it for no money. Mason, do I need to pay you for this one? I don't know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's thank Henry and Chunklet for bringing me down here tonight. He set up all he set up all these shows down here in the region. I need gas money, Henry. I got to get to Nashville tomorrow. Oh, bullshit. I. I no, I really do have to get to Nashville tomorrow. You guys know Montgomery? Anybody from Montgomery? <laughs> what is there? Is there a rivalry or something? <laughs> All my doubt, my life is measured out, and it's taken my head at the door. Stops my breath and my heart in time. No want, no waste, and no fight. Cause this boy is Montgomery. 
You see, I make my mistakes on my own time. Now let the twilight show the girls the town. Cause this boy is Montgomery Brown. Brown bottle eyes and the black cat's hips, the road becomes what you leave. My ghost ain't waiting, and my ghost ain't waiting, and my ghost ain't waiting. Sometimes I forget that I've always been sick And I don't have the will to keep fighting Hammer down Heaven bound Hammer down When it's been my ghost and the empty road, I think the stars are just the neon lights shining through the dance floor. Shining through the dance floor of heaven on a Saturday. I saw the light And I saw the light Hammer down Heaven Heaven Tell when the truth forgets about us. Saying it now comes easily after finding out how you've been using me. At least the dark don't hide it. At least the dark don't hide it. At least the dark don't hide it. The dog don't hide it. Now you said you only wanted friends for long enough to get rid of him. And you found the kind you knew would only kill you. And you surrounded yourself with them. At least the dark don't hide it. 
At least the dark don't hide it. At least the dark don't hide it. At least the dark don't hide it. Now the world was empty on the day when they made it. But heaven needed some place to throw all the shit. Human hearts and pain should never be separate. They wouldn't tear themselves apart, both trying to fit. At least the dark don't hide it. At least the dark don't hide it. At least the dark don't hide it. At least the dark. Now death is gonna hold us up in the mirror And say we're so much alike We must be brothers You see I had a job to do But people like you Been doing it for me To one another At least I In a life built out of only goodbye, is there even room for you to try? While you was waiting for me not to call, I sent my love. I sent my love. 
It was hard to love a man like you Goodbye, it's just what you do In a life built out of only goodbye Is there even room for you? Is there even room for you? Thank you, Carl. I got this one about this sad thing. <laughs> I got this one about this moon and this wolf and this owl, this ghost, with some blood in there. Girls, lots of girls. While the wolf had her Deep in my heart Who's been writing the song Who's been singing The full moon 
with blue eyes without me with blue Big Nashville landing. Thank you kindly. Well, since we're all telling the truth tonight, and you guys are just, I don't know, I mean, that's sort of one-sided conversation. You know, that's the scariest thing about dying, is that you're going to be down there with all those dead guys. That's what I figure is like, you're going to be down there in the ground with all the skeletons, and you're like, awesome, skeletons. And you're like, it's hard to tell who everybody is, you know, because they don't have hair. And <laughs> I figure we're all walking around, but we're in the dirt. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. So, um, today I got like two really bad news phone calls early, early in the morning. Um, you know, those bad news ones. And I got one later in the day. And then when I talked to Henry tonight, I actually got bad news from him too. So I had like four different sessions of bad news. But so this morning, you know, I, I got up and uh, Henry, I went to the Bluebird. What, what's, what's that lady's name? Um, what's her name? Rhea. Rhea. And so, and uh, she's got this amazing joint in Atlanta. It's an amazing um, breakfast diner place across from the graveyard. And so, you know, that was the first thing I did in the morning. I went over there and had breakfast and stuff. Well, I took a wrong turn, and guess where I went from Atlanta? I went to Augusta. <laughs> so I'm going into South Carolina, and I'm like, man, it's fucking a long way to fucking... I was like, wait a minute. I think I I took a wrong turn. A long, wrong turn. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I never asked for directions, and I just thought, I'm just... Like, well, I guess this is, I was like, I'm going to hit the ocean pretty goddamn soon. <laughs> I could just tell from the trees and the fucking landscape I was getting wrong. And um, so, you know, I just got to say that uh, it took a long, wrong turn. And so actually I went and visited a friend there. That was, you know, I, I lied and I was like, hey, man, I was just in town. <laughs> actually, I was just going the wrong way. Um, which which one? The one that, about the car? All right, this is uh, this is a, uh, you know those you know those trailers that haul cars. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but you know the ones. I actually saw one that actually dropped a car today. Yes. <laughs> it was a v it was a VW Bug, and they were hauling like classic cars. And I just came over the rise, and I see the I see the bug on the shoulder, kind of like in the m road. I kind of like swerved to miss it. And then I see the trailer that was hauling it, and it was a guy standing there, the truck driver. So luckily, no, no one was behind it. But I've always wondered if there was anybody, you know, it's like, does, do those ever fall off of there? Yeah. <laughs> and I was the guy, I was the next guy in line. But maybe because of some of that bad news today, it kept me from uh, being the guy that got hit by the VW bug. So, <laughs> sounds like everything's working out. <laughs> You see, I nailed my guilt to the back of my eyes. 
and so I see it now before the sun. Now who was I? Now who am I, Lord? What have I done? What comes after the blues? Hey, after the blues. What comes after Now Noah must have had a lot of room on the ark For all of them broken hearts Stay with me now, old Crimson Pal Pain like this will even outlet of the dark And come after the blues Hey, come after the blues So when Henry says, tell him about the trailer, I'm thinking about like where I grew up in the trailer park. That was the first thing I thought. So the Airstream back here, man, that is deluxe. I mean, if I had grown up in the Airstream, things would have been a whole lot different. <laughs> you know, five people in an Airstream with a dog. It'd be pretty cool. Look, it's got more style. See, that, this is a funny thing about trailers and trailer parks is, like, I always thought when I was a little kid, you know, it's funny how there's, like, wheels still on them. Because I was like, you motherfuckers aren't going nowhere. <laughs> there, there's no goddamn way they're ever going to fucking haul those things outside of those fucking center blocks. It's like, then there's little bitty tires. I mean, they made it there. And I was like, you know, if I stay here, I'm going to fucking die. So... And ironically, I spend my fucking life on the road, so. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's no irony anymore. Used it. Somebody used it all up already. <laughs> You'll never hear me talk about One day Why put a new address on the same old loneliness? Everybody knows where that is. We built that house of his, and when he's not home, someone. Everything you hate 
So I, I, this is wrapping up the end, long, long year of uh, touring with Magnolia and uh, and myself. And uh, please, if you're ever traveling around before uh, we get back down here, um, come out and see me with the band because uh, they're killer. It's a you know it's a killer band. Um, and I gotta say that um, anybody a fan of the Arab Strap, these are the days when um, it looks like they've called it quits. They're good friends of mine and. Um, I traded uh, going to uh, to you know to see their last string of shows to uh, to do these shows these um, these are the shows that I want you know I wanted to play towns that I don't normally get to play and uh, figured that was the you know the best you know the best balance but um, if anybody ever got to see those guys you know they're it's two killer songwriters and you know different arrangements every tour and everything and then. You know, Godspeed those guys. I don't. Who the fuck knows what they're gonna do? That you know. I mean, maybe they're just tired of beating each other each other up. But uh, um, you know, right about now, I think that they're. Uh, you know, that's a band that uh, you know helped to get my my entire career started. Just uh, saying, Sayonara. And uh, it's a drag to not get to see them one more time, but. Um, so, you know, if you got one of those Arab Strap records, you know, like, put it on tonight. Don't beat up your fucking girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> but if you do, then you're going to have to, uh, why, not do why don't you just throw the fucking records out the window? That's it. You know, you already bought the records, so. <laughs> oh man, no way, man! Ride the lightning, man. That's when, that's when the metal chicks are like coming over and being like, "Hey, man, nice, nice car." I'm like, it's not my friend. It's, 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 it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you put "Ride the Lightning" on in the fucking Camaro, all you have to do is just like stand by the Camaro, and like metal chicks are coming over. It doesn't have to be your car. <laughs> That's not that you know. That's not that long ago in my mind. Actually, that's like yesterday. So I got no problem. You see this shirt? You know, it says 
Toledo a light, and I wore it for weeks thinking it said Toledo all right. <laughs> um, so that's why I still wear it, because I think it's cool. Toledo all right. <laughs> Three more in you? Three more. Yeah. You got two more in you? Wait, two more. There. You got four more in you. <laughs> you know, the, the way they do auctions in West Virginia are not, they don't do that like that uh, great auctioneer voice. It's a lot more like visual. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I used to be up on an auction stage sometimes and I'd watch these old guys do it. And I realized it's not about that. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's about that. Hey, you did right there. He just did that. You got that. You got the tip it back. You got that right there. See, and that's really what it is. It's all about the, the like the. There you go. And I was like, man, you don't even need to like know language. You just kind of have to have a little bit of vision and maybe a little bit of hearing. Old folks auction auction uh, skit that would be amazing like old folks home where it's like you know it's like she's going down the hall like this but that's like that's like signing that she wants to you know bid on something <laughs> it's all yours 
<laughs> I'm just a songwriter, I'm not a skit writer. What are you hunting here? Child, I hunt what will not stand. I bring home the northern lights, the ocean and the turning sand. I sing the arrows. I know it finds my heart every time you're taking it to me. Just the gray and the emptiness as it is, as it is. Dawn, dawn, come phantom light. Dawn, come crashing. All who can will, will, will see nothing. Say nothing again. You're taking it too far. Remember the night when the fire didn't answer to the flame. When the fire didn't answer to the flame. Thank you. Let's see, I got uh, either a new one or uh, I got Leave the City is the oldest one I know. Um, new one, new one. No, that's an awesome, awesome request for a really old song, but first audience in weeks and weeks and weeks that said new one so my hat my my hat off to you guys you know that's the thing is like man you know that's funny you say ride the lightning you know i got suspended from school for wearing that metal up your ass t-shirt yeah. and i even you know like the first time I, when i got i got kicked out in the morning because I was wearing that fucking tour t-shirt that said metal up your ass. You know, that's the... It had, like, the sword coming out of the toilet seat. No big deal. You know. And it was, you know... Back then at a concert, you could buy a t-shirt for, like, $18, you know. So I went outside, and I asked the janitor if I could buy her some tape and a, and a pen. And I put a piece of tape over ass, and I put ear. So it said metal up your ear, because I was like, you know, heavy metal. You listen to heavy metal, you know. And then the principal said, well, we're actually kicking you out for the image of the sword coming out of the toilet seat. And I was like, if you told me that, I would put the tape over the fucking sword. You know? <laughs> so anyway, all those times of seeing Metallica, they never did a single new song. You know, there's always shit off the records, you know. So I guess I guess I spent my entire time trying to outdo Metallica. <laughs>
corn lies across the field and the pumpkin nearly jumped the vine when the shadows step come before the man's it's time oh The night they come for us And they hung us from the oak On the high back road Time, oh Lord, time So Willow, will you take my hand? My heart's all yours, Lone Pine. Gypsy, saddle up these rattling bones and let's ride. Oh, Mama, let's ride. Let's ride. says you got your papa's pretty eyes and then she flies oh lord she flies here come willow the whips she says say all of your prayers twice once for It's time, oh, oh, Lord, it's time, it's time, oh, oh Lord, it's time. Thank you. All right, I'm going to do one more here. How much for the Schwinn? I got to sell all my stuff, so I'm starting to, you know, I've got this old, you know, my, who's going to, I mean, I got this Schwinn when I was like eight. And I got it, it's like, it's such a small thing. It's like, it's like an object in my house right now. I take $2 for it, you know, to the right person. If someone's going to give it to someone who's going to ride it, I don't want someone to put it on their wall.
Here come the hours again Before you would let them pass You'd say, why destiny Have you been so patient with Adiós.